Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. We ask that you look around at some of our other videos and leave feedback. But we do thank you for joining us on this video. So today's topic is request fulfillment and the metrics that make up that process, that help us understand and measure that process, its health, its performance, all the fun stuff. So we'll first talk about metrics and then critical success factors, CSFs, which are very interesting in themselves because if we fail on our critical success factors, we will fail in our process. They're critical. So our metrics may be total number of requests, and the total number is a control that's measured, so at least we can trend how we're doing in a control fashion. How about a breakdown by stage? stage where our request is in our in the process so is it logged is it work in progress is it pending is it closed a breakdown of that total number by stage also the size of current backlog of service requests how many of them have been closed how many of them need to be closed is our backlog trending up in terms of duration of time or trending down we sure hope down all right, how about our mean time to handle each type of service request? Don't we want that to go down so we can categorize them and route them as quickly as possible? And so our mean time to handle these and close these service requests, we hope is a declining number. Also, your number and percentage of completed service requests within your SLAs or agreed upon terms. Oh, we care about SLAs. So we really care about hey, what's our total number and percentage of number that meet or not our SLAs? Average cost per type of service request? Oh, we'd love to hear how much it costs us. So that way IT, whether through some official chargeback or some unofficial way can prove their worth to the business. And also, lastly, for the metric side, your level of customer satisfaction. So maybe you have an automated survey for those that whose service requests are closed. Just a word of advice, send the survey quickly, especially for those who had a positive experience. You don't want them to forget it, do you? So how about your critical success factors? Agreement, so did this happen within agreement? So what services, the cost, service level management, and any exceptions? So for your critical success factor for your request fulfillment, you need to have agreement on what services will be provided, at what cost, what service level, things of that nature. How about what exceptions? Maybe your security group wants to throw an exception in there, right? That happens. Also, your critical success factor could be the publication in a service catalog, like your self-service. We want somebody to be able to order this service if they can't the process will not be successful, will it? Next, how about your definition of in your procedural for the service? So what service are we providing? What's the definition of it? Make it as public as possible. Next, how about a single point of contact for each service, usually the service desk, but we want to make sure we publicize what that single point of contact is. Lastly, oh, two more. So your self-service tools will help, well, they'll help a lot. And it's not really a critical success factor to have that tool, have that automation, but it sure helps because it allows those service requests to be routed with the right approvals quickly and easily. Lastly, for you to have success in your request fulfillment, you need buy-in at all levels in the organization because it's not easy to set up a centralized request, a way to process all these requests. You do not want people calling all of the IT department for these requests like they do today. You want to centralize it as best possible. That's where the single point of contact came in. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on this video. We hope that you'll like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below. We hope you have a great, great day. Bye.